Taoiseach, uh, leaders' questions on October 19th. I questioned you on your commitment to delivering 24 7 cardiac care to the South East region. You informed me then that recruitment was taking place to expand hours, that monies were being provided, that service expansion was happening, and that the service could build towards 24 7. Further to parliamentary responses on these issues, Taoiseach, I can confirm to you now that no recruitment of cardiac technical personnel has taken place since 2018. No funding for cardiac expansion has occurred. No increased nursing or radiography positions have been improved. And in fact, the medical accreditations being requested for a new cardiology post are similar to asking a ministerial driver to provide Formula One racing experience, further designed to frustrate recruitment. Taoiseach, I believe your promises to the people of the South East to deliver 24-7 are being deliberately frustrated, and I ask you what you plan to do about it. And I invite you also, Taoiseach, to correct the Doyle record, which I believe you have uh, inadvertently misled. Yeah, but again, the, <coughs> on October the 19th, that was in relation to the cardiac programme in Waterford, yeah, and I received um, information from the Department of Health and the HSE, which I did relate to you on that occasion. The funding has been provided. Um, the policy decisions have been taken, um, and I will check w on what the deputy has said today and come back to the deputy in respect of it, because uh, the policy decisions have been taken in respect of the expansion of the service and recruitment. And again, uh, I will check that. I, well, I, I'm just saying to you what is the case. I mean, over 4,500 people have been recruited this year um, alone, and 6,000 the previous year. But I'm going to check that. They should, they should be.